Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Right, welcome back everyone. This is a little walk around of the video. Walk around of the boat, sorry. This is a new vessel for Anglin Anxiety, her name's Scarlett. Um, she is a Quicksilver 630 SD, so it's a diesel inboard. It's a, it's a step up from a Wilson fire, put it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you around. We've just got Rev Roar here at a minute from, what's the company called? Uh, Roar's Mobile Car Valley. Roar's Mobile Car Valley, but he does boats as well. Um, he does anything but needs cleaning, Rev will do it. We've got a real secret in the background, which is another one that will be coming out this year. And that's a friend of mine, Roland's boat, but yeah, here she is. There he is, Scarlett. So, it's a lot bigger, you can't really see, but it's, that's where Rev standing, Rev's six foot tall. It's a, it's a big boat, it's a big boat. Um, on a trailer, so it's a double wheeled axle trailer, so it can be trailered around. It is gonna be moored up for the majority of its life, but we are gonna trailer it around. Um, don't even wanna walk on the mud and walk on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, take the shoes off, I think. But yeah, she's uh, ready to go in. Nice deep hole in it, nice and comfortable. When you're on it, it dries a lot. It has, I've been out on it and it's, it's a beautiful boat to, uh, to be on. But yeah, I'm gonna get myself up onto her. Just screw some mud. Oh yeah, ladders. So we've got ladders at the back. We've got a Merc at the back here. This is the outboard. Gives me a terrible camera quality. <laughs> Just take my shoes off, people. Right, so this is the deck space. See if I can put it on. I don't know why it's not letting me make it go wider. Two seconds. Right, see so yeah, it. This is the deck space. Got the outboard under here. Uh, inbox, inbox, sorry, which is a Mercury 115. I believe. Mm, 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 mm. Out in a minute. Under here we've got all the battery bits on. It's got a hundred litre diesel tank. It's all looking very clean, Rev. That would die. Cut the batteries, I said it's all looking very clean. Yeah. Got the low run structure scan, but that's been swapped out. Um, walk around cabin, so you can walk all the way around when fighting a fish, which is handy. Nice wide windows on it. Nice big front up here. Solar panels, aerials and whatnot. Cleaning it on my feet as I go. Rod rests. Rod rest people in. We're gonna get we're gonna sand this down and varnish it. Um, just because it'll just make it that look that little bit better. Seats here. There's also seats that go in here. Which is cool. The door. Hey? No, no, no. I know it's a pain in the bum, I'll just take it off. Inside here. We got the caveat. So we got a couple of seats. Another seat here. So this will be where fish farm is obviously mounted up here. That's going to be a bigger size. This is the view from the cab, which is nice. There are beds that are down here as well. There we go. Rev's just passing them up here. Yeah. So these beds, 
actually fold out. I'll sort them out in a minute. So that's your two double beds. Like double is in doubles, not double size. Double is in because there's two of them. I just slide in there. That will zip them back up. So this is, if you're laying down, this flops out. So you move that and that goes backwards. So you've got all of this room now, which is nice. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Here she is. I'm over the moment with her to be quite honest with you. A few little bits and bobs we want to do. It's got a nice finish with these plastic. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a plastic and glass reinforced plastic, basically. All the dials for your knots, your temperature, your revs, etc., etc., your oil, the old emergency compass up here, radio. Build everything here is on here and whatnot. Um, We've got a diesel heater, but we're yet to fit in here, but it's going in here. And some trim tabs. Deal with them nice and smooth on them, which is hydraulic, which is a big change from the old um, cable on the Wilson flyer. But yes, it's got ta a ta uh, sorry, a t the mouse gone black. It's got places all around it for storage. We've got places under here. In here. Fish finder is same on the other side. And yeah, here she is. Here she is. So happy man. So so happy. Some roofs. Just because why not? Some plugs here so we can actually plug in the mains plugs, do you know what I mean? Normal plugs. Um just in case you want to bring the telly in here. Because we will be doing some nights in here. Um, the other cushion. Just to excuse me, banging about people at the moment. You know me, it's rather organised. Yeah, so you got them. And then back out on the deck. In here. Built in a live boat tank. Lovely. And there she is. Nice and shiny. But yeah, I'm over the moon with her, man. Really, I'm over the moon with her. Got the uh, auxiliary engine there. Gonna get a nice angling anxiety flag for this. Air rules come up. Sorry, mate. These bits here. Yeah, yeah. I'll, ding, uh, all I'll chuck them in. And yeah, I'll leave them down there for now. For everything. Yeah, there she is. Gonna get a big angling anxiety sticker for you. One up here. One up the other side. May come me home, as it were. But yeah, again, this is gonna be sanded down, rubbed down, varnished. Um, gonna get these so there. Yeah. I can't remember the stuff you treat it with basically to make them super duper shiny get a few small stickers on it i don't want to overdo it um yeah you build and whatnot's in there but yeah she's a super duper fly machine it's a shame about the uh Shame about the uh, mud that where I've got dirty feet and stuff, but that's what it is. Put the anchor space up the front, lights, this deck light, it's sound as silly as it sounds, this this works, which is just brilliant because we didn't have one on the old boat on the uh, Vigilant. I do love Vigilant, I really do love her, but she was old and she was just a pain in the bum. This is sort of the next step up. Who knows what, what I'll have one day. But there's loads of room at the back here. You can't really see it from videos, but honestly, like, you can fish one person there, one person there, one person there, one person there, if you really wanted to. Um, there'll be a few big fish coming to her this year, that's for sure. Nice rubber blue trim, which again, I didn't have on um, Vigilant. But yeah, she's most certainly in the nicest boat in the boat yard. At the minute. I'm looking forward to getting her down. We're going to get her down next weekend, so expect some fishing. 
expect a lot of fishing to be honest with you um but yeah i can't really say much about it to be honest with you shame i haven't got the seats here um because we put the seats in there that's getting varnished as well rub down and varnish um once you've got the seats there it's, it's really nice and comfortable but it means here you can get right up the back of the boat and fish and minus for it at board there at inboard sorry you haven't got anything to worry about so you've only got the stern drive to worry about which is good for snagging etc and the bigger fish for sharks again if you've got a shark running around here you can run all the way around here all the way around here and you haven't got to worry too much about getting snagged up which is super duper handy but yeah there she is the beauty got all my boys and stuff you see why it's a little bit grubby because of all the mud there's nothing to discredit Mr. River was cleaning. Um, ah, sorry. He's originally from Porter's Head. And for when I go out and do a free diving in the summer, this is where I'm coming off of. Yeah, there she is. Scarlet. Chum bucket at the ready. Boys at the ready. What a monster. But yeah, happy days. Thanks for coming over a look, people. Don't forget to like and subscribe because the adventures are just about to get a whole lot of murder. Happy days. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Love you. Before I forget, if you're from around, if you've got your number there, then you're going wrong. Take care, man.